you then uh, moved to the dam. How, how, how did that come about? Was it initially? Was it? Did you already have a friendship with the captain? Is that how? It was yeah, it? And, yeah, yeah. Um, I love the dam. I mean, I I was never really a fan of the pistol. I, I kind of subscribed to captain's uh, description, like a bad company with, with a terrible singer. I mean, the, <laughs> nothing particularly revolutionary about them. You know, it, it was very much a McLaren vehicle to, you know, sell his wares. Um, uh, but the, the but the damned, I used to, I was living in London then in 77, and the, the damned were the one band that I thought were the real deal. You know, the, the damned weren't chasing record, major record labels, the, weren't, the damned weren't chasing major anything. The dam was just up there having the time of their life, and they're exactly the same off stage as they were on stage, uh, which is um, unpredictable and volatile, um, and immense fun. And it was a very attractive uh, combination. And I got very really funny with Rat and Captain, and I used to go along and heckle them at their gigs, and I used to come and heckle us at Hot Rods gigs, and I used to crash out with Rat and and all that stuff, and you know. Be, misbehave badly <laughs> and um when their bass player um algae departed that they um they approached me and i i didn't accept for quite a while because i was still with the hot rods and the damn had such a a terrible reputation in, in um i mean they're unmanageable they still are you know the the band is pretty unmanageable for a variety of reasons different now than back then yeah. um and nobody really touched me the barge pole because it, it was a dangerous band to be be around. Um, but eventually, I, I you know ev every band's got a trajectory. You go up, you go down, you go up, you down. If you're lucky, you have you know two or three up and downs. I mean, the town have had dozens of ups and downs. A lot of bands fall at the first down. And Hot Rods were you know we'd lost our guitarist, um, one of our guitarists. The songs we were writing weren't as good. We'd we'd lost our deal with Iron Records, or that had run out. Um, the audiences were changing. The, the music kind of, um, you know, the the musical landscape was changing. End of the seventies. So um, I thought, sod it, you know, I'll throw me up with a damn. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> ah, but you were to find out, yeah. I <laughs> Well, Captain Sensible, right? You know, I mean, you know, it's such a such a crazy, ridiculous kind of name, you know. Um, you know, and people are kind of fascinated by, by him as a kind of presence. But I guess he's one. I suppose he's become one of your best friends, I suppose, over the years. So, I, I, I think I don't know. Might be might be totally wrong. But I mean, what what what? How would you sort of describe him as a, a you know, as 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 a, as a kind of a character? What does he bring to the table? The, the connection that I've got with um, Captain and Dave, uh, mm. who were both very, very opposite characters, mm. um, and Rat to an extent, was a shared love of the same music. You know, we, we all liked um, those, that music I just mentioned, all the nugget stuff, the monkeys, um, the seeds, the 13th row elevators, all these kind of psychedelic little three minute pop gems. Hmm. We loved it. And that was our, that was the thread that drew the four very different disparate characters in the damned when I was with them together. Um, hmm. And Captain and I especially share and shared the same love of melody. You know, we we both love the monkeys. We we both, you know, like ABBA. We both like we both like great pop songs. Yeah. Um, and when we play, that comes out. And Captain is is one of those guitarists that um, is vastly underrated. I agree. Yeah, totally. And I I love the way he approaches the guitar. Um, mm. He's got a very individual style. He's a great songwriter. Um, and I feel a, a, a very, very natural affinity to pretty much everything that he plays and writes. So, you know, yeah, yeah. 
he comes down here a lot. I mean, we did the first, we got a, a band together in 2012 called the Sensible Grey Cells. Yeah. And most of that was recorded on his kitchen table. Okay. On, on mine and his um, MacBook. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I hadn't worked with him for donkey's years, but we just picked the guitars up, got the old squeaky keyboard out and the songs just came. So, I mean, he, you know, he's far quieter than his um, public persona might uh, suggest. Yeah. yeah, there's there's two sides to captain, and um, you know I've always got on with with them both, and mm. we we just you know when when we when we play together it it works, um, it, it, there's nothing forced about it, mm. and we we you know we feed off each other's ideas, and it's always been a really really good you know playing relationship. How did the songwriting process sort of play out in the damned? Would 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 uh, sensible kind of turn up with an idea, or, or would you you know would you work it? And no, we, we used a rehearsal, to, or I don't know. We all had port studios. Okay. You know, um, yeah. Back in the day, mm. and we used to send songs to each other, and we we're all you know I mean reams of C nineties you know we we churn stuff out, and we used to send it to each other before uh, we went in the studio, which was usually Rockfield, yeah. um, and then we somehow um, just blast, well, we, we blast through a load of ideas and it was pretty obvious which ones would work. Um, and at that time, all the songwriting was shared equally. So you avoided all that nonsense about, well, he's got three songs on, so I want three songs on, even though the other person's three songs may be far better than your three songs. Yeah. Um, so that you know that was very uh, organic, but so the songs, Paul, so, are you saying? Sorry, Paul, you're saying that the songs are all credited to the dam, sort of per se, sort of thing. Is that, is that how? Yeah, well, well, the two albums I, the two studio yeah. albums I did, was all um, split equally. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So there were some Actually, pretty no, good songs. That's not there, true. I guess. The, the second album, Strawberries, wasn't huh. um, for. For various reasons, but the Black Album, which is the main one, that, yeah, that that was, yeah, um, and, and you know, I think quite rightly so because we all had valuable input into that, and I think mm. it was one of those periods in in the band's history where, you know, the four personalities kind of rubbed along pretty yeah. well, at least at least for a, mm. a while, um, and and the songs just flowed, you know, it was. Like like the the who, if you like, you know, without any of those people in the mix, it would not have been the same. 